Welcome to Tailgating for Tigers. I'm Pete, and here we are standing in front of The Rock to kick off this year's uh, effort to help save tigers from going extinct in the wild, something that Clemson is leading the nation in. And as you know, we go around and interview opposing teams' fan bases to tell them the good news, give them a hard time about their weird mascot, and also just talk to the wonderful folks who are Clemson Tigers. And that's what we did this past weekend against Walford. All right, one of our big giveaways this year to help get the word out on what Clemson's doing to save Tigers is get you to share this video on Facebook or whatever. And if you share the video, we're automatically entering you to win two tickets to the Clemson South Carolina game, or I should say the Gamecock butt kicking in November at the Dead Cockroach in the armpit of the state, Columbia. But Walford fans want to catch up with them in a little bit. The other question we went around to ask Clemson fans for this first game was to kind of look at the traditions that Clemson fans value what's good and what can maybe need some working on or what are some new traditions. That's going to be our topic all season. Our first tradition we focused on is something that you don't have to be on TigerNet long to see as controversial. The woohoo. There's a lot of, you, you go on TigerNet? Yeah. You see ban the woohoo and all that? We're trying to figure out are you a woohoo or are you not a woohooer? When it first started I just remember uh, there being some shirts like what uh, abandon or yeah, stop yeah. the woohoo or something stop like that and and uh, Man, I think if people are excited and they're having fun, and what's the big deal? Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm supporting that. If Taj does it, I'll, I'll keep it up. I'll, I'll uh, keep doing it. You rolling? Yep. We're well, here at the man, the myth, the legend, Clemson's finest, Taj Boy. Taj, what you doing here in Tiger Town today? How's it feel to be back with the Clemson family? Unbelievable, man. Like, Clemson family is like none other. Um, okay. Obviously, I would say it's my second home, but right now it's my first home. Right. And uh, I just enjoy being back, man, just being around the people. Yes, sir. We'll keep it up with you, praying for you and all and everything yes, for the best. Now, Taj, we got a few questions. This is a fun video to raise awareness about what right. Clemson's doing to save tigers from going extinct. What do you think about the tiger as an animal, as a mascot? Um, first of all, it's, it's a legendary animal. Um, obviously, it's sacred. I mean, it's looked upon as one of the greatest animals on earth. I go down to the zoo all the time in Greenville, and every time I get a chance, I throw one of the blood of the quarters in there for the save of the tigers. And to actually go online and, and Google it and yeah, look yeah. at the images and see how endangered they are. Right, right. I mean, I think it's up for us as a community to go ahead and just try to do as much as we can to save the Tigers. Absolutely. You're such a great ambassador for Clemson. You're a great ambassador for the Tiger itself. Everything the Tiger represents is a sacred animal you represent as a person. We got one question kind of about the Clemson family. Uh, the woohoo is kind of a subject. Right. What do you feel about the woohoo, Taj? Pretty good. I mean, you got the right music going when it comes around. Yeah. You get the wave going. So it's the, it, it energizes you here in the woohoo. Absolutely, absolutely, man. So it's always fun. Will you be woohooing today? Of course, you already know. Taj Boy, one of the Clemson's finest. Thank you so much, Taj. We love you, man. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Go Tigers, baby. Thanks, man. You all. You probably saw us guy on the sidelines last year, right beside Venables, right? Yep. I uh, helped signal for uh, Coach Venables and hold up personnel. Um, How do you feel about the woohoo? Do you woohoo? I do. I do. Okay. I do. It's it's, it's tradition. People people you know hear people put it down. Yeah. It's, it's, it's tradition. How do you feel being on the coach? How do you think the coaches and players feel about the woohoo? Um, you know, like I said, you know, it's part of the tradition. You know, they feed off of stuff like that. Right. That's something that's unique to Clemson. Now here's one dude that has a lot to say about authority tradition, the owner of the Paul Bearer. And we're going to do some more coverage of this tradition as the season goes on. But here's what he has to say about the woohoo. Speaking of old traditions, we're trying to get a feel on what do people think about the woohoo as part of the cheer. What are your thoughts on the woohoo? I don't personally do it, but I, I don't care. I mean, if they do it, they do it. It is Youth Day here at Death Valley. I have a little tiger here. What's your favorite tradition at Clemson? Going on the field. That is a great one. Here's one of the great traditions, big traditions here at Clemson that you cannot do in the great Southeastern Conference is that storm the field after the game. Now, Clemson does this after every game, as you know. Even if the Walford game is just some fun, good family event, that kind of thing. However, in the Southeastern Conference, you have to reserve running on the field for a really special game. Something like beating somebody like, I don't know, New Mexico State after losing 21 games straight, as the mighty South Carolina Gamecocks did. Can you picture that conversation? Dad, when's the last time we stormed the field? Well, son, it was against New Mexico State after we broke our 21 game losing streak. Do you do the woohoo, the woohoo, woohoo? What are your thoughts on the woohoo? Well, when I'm with the kids, the kids like to see that done. So I do it with the kids, but if I'm by myself with coaches, we know the, the boys don't like to hear that, so we don't um, do it too much. All right, I'm here with Snake Eyes. Now, Kalen, you got your contacts in now? You no, know, I, I took them out. I wanted to look professional when I got met my new team. So I figured whenever I get back to playing football, I'll pop them right back in. Do you like the woohoo? Woohoo, woohoo, 
Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Well. Just kind of neutral to it. I th yeah. It's just if it gets people rowdy and ready to go, then I'm all for it. Whatever. Sure. Than three thousand tigers remaining alive, so we're working at Clemson to save them, leading the nation in it. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on the tiger? I mean, honestly, like it wouldn't be Clemson without the tiger. You know, everyone knows it. The tiger paw right. to the tiger and the cub running around here. So. I think it pretty much represents our school, and that's what everyone knows. But Clemson would still be Clemson without this statue right here. All right, sometimes it's hard to say it was a good idea, but didn't turn out quite right. Let's maybe get the statue down and redo it. It looks like it looks like Mighty Mouse. What do you think about Walford's mascot? They're the terriers. Sometimes I say that they're cute. There you have it. Walford has a really cute mascot. Congratulations, Walford. Walford fans were cool. Go Tigers! Woo! Walford fans are awesome, uh, and you got a hand to Walford fans. I mean, there are probably more Walford fans that came to Clemson yesterday than there were Miami Hurricane fans who actually went to Miami's first home game of the year. Here's a pitiful shot of that in action. So, anyway, here's some interviews with some Walford fans we got. Traditions. What type of traditions does Walford have? Uh, we don't. We don't mess with traditions. Oh, so y'all kind of like South Carolina, I guess. Uh, yeah, but with a little bit more class. We're going to go to some better interviews with some more dedicated Walford fans. I understand you're the father of Walford's quarterback, is that I right? am. Yes, I am. All right. Tell us what it's been like for him to be a Walford Terrier in that experience. Oh, he loves the school, man. Wonderful okay. place, uh, especially the education part right. of it. Absolutely. Uh, and definitely yeah. loves his team. Okay. What, is this your first trip to Death Valley? First trip. What are your thoughts on it? Oh, it's a wonderful place. I mean, the place is beautiful. Uh, they made some renovations and everything yeah. looks wonderful. And uh, the fans were really hospitable. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> what's Walford team look like it's going to be this year? I think they're going to be really good. Okay. I actually do. Uh, we sure appreciate you being here thank today. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, we want to know, talking about traditions, what are some of Walford's traditions? Uh, Walford traditions, we really enjoy dressing up for the games. Today you wouldn't necessarily know it because it's so hot. We didn't pull up the sport coats too much. But Y'all wear sports coats normally? Yes, sir, usually. All right. Now, do you all have any special cheers? And if so, could you do one for us? We didn't get to hear it. Uh, well, as far as special cheers, I don't, I don't have much for you. Um, what do you think about the tradition of coming on the field? Can I go on the field after games? Or uh, we do a little bit, but I, I really like the, the tradition at Clemson of all the people coming in. Tradition, but I do really like the tradition of coming on the field at Memorial Stadium. Well, cool, man. Did you hear us do the woohoo today? Like woohoo! Oh, yeah. oh yeah. What do you think about the woohoo? I, I like, I like the woohoo. Y'all got, y'all got some good ones. Y'all do. Y'all, we need to come up with some like them. All right. Well, thanks, man. They've been a good sport. Wish y'all a good season. Did we did the woohoo today? Here's go woo. What do you think about that? It's good. It's cool. Now we're going to take you to a member of Clemson's Tigers for Tigers. This is Kyle Caldwell. He's also a member of Central Spirit. The Woohoo. How do you feel about the Woohoo? <laughs> um, I like it. I know okay. a lot of the more traditional fans that were here yeah. um, a while back, they really don't, they're yeah, kind yeah. of opposed to it, but um, I think it's a good representation of the current student body okay. and I think most of the players like it too. It seems the woohoo originated in the early 90s. Now one of the darkest stories for people who want it banned has an understandable dark beginning. All right, some people say it came from the Virginia Wahoos. Like, Wahoo! That kind of thing right there, you know. Southerners say Wahoo, uh, Westerners say yeehaw, and Northerners say hey, hey guys. During the 1990 showdown with them, and if you know anything about the 1990 showdown with uh, Virginia, it is the first time in history Clemson lost to the Wahoos. Uh, Ken Hatfield's at the ham, took over for Danny Ford. Terrible, broke a 29 game winning streak against them. And if that's where the woohoo came from, then yes, any tradition that has a dark, terrible beginning, let's get rid of it. However, perhaps it didn't have such a dark history and it came from another story, also from the early 90s, at a game Clemson actually won, the crowd's a little bit down, and then the band member from the flag line got the woohoo started, provided some energy, things took off, Clemson won the game, and then it took about eight years for it to become really mainstream, the whole stadium doing the woohoo around 99 or 2000. That's one interpretation. Here at Clemson, maybe one tradition that I think definitely needs changing is classes on Labor Day. I mean. I remember when I was here, we had classes on Labor Day, and apparently today we came up here, I forgot it, and there's students all over the place. Hey, we're here with current student, what's your name? Chris Orr. Now, speaking of traditions, Clemson has class on Labor Day, is that correct? We do, yep. Now, is that a tradition you think Clemson should change? You know, 
I think so. It'd be nice. One tradition that needs to be upheld, though, is our wonderful tiger, the mascot. We need to keep that a strong tradition, a living tradition, living in the wild, and that's why I'm so happy to be a part of Clemson because, you know, doing great things for the earth should be something fun. I love being part of Clemson because it's a fun tailgating experience, a fun game day experience. It's fun to be a tiger, and likewise, it's fun to save tigers. Tell us what y'all got going on uh, this semester that helps save tigers. Yeah, we have a lot of fun things lined up. Um, one of them, we're actually uh, hosting our very own tailgate for the Georgia Tech game on October 10th. Um, so we'd love for a lot of people to come out and come see us uh, and learn maybe a little about Tiger Tigers. Okay. Yeah, and then we have a weaning contest right. that's gonna be on um, the week of November 9th through 13th. And that's also National Tiger Awareness Week, okay. which will be a whole week long of fun tiger events, um, learning about tigers and um, some fundraising efforts to help save tigers. But one great way to do that right now is from the cover of your chair, just check the link below this uh, YouTube video or on Facebook and you can go to a petition, not a petition, it's a letter, just a letter to sign, send it to your uh, house representative and tell him you want to support this bill. The bill is basically an anti-poaching act which helps stop tiger poaching in the wild and I mean isn't it awesome new that Clemson can lead the way in supporting that bill because it means something when folks from South Carolina contact Washington and say hey we want you to pass this bill to stop poaching because yes, it helps the environment and save our mascot and tigers, but what a lot of folks don't know is terrorists use uh, wildlife to fund their operations. A lot of the recent terrorist attacks are funded by the poaching and selling of endangered species parts. And so we can also make America safer. So think about that. We as tigers, we're saving our mascot from going extinct, the real king of the jungle, and we're also making America safer by cutting off a main supply to terrorists who are using our mascot, killing it to fund their uh, organization. So keep paying attention all year to see what great things Clemson are doing, how you can have fun being a part of it. Meanwhile, our evil brethren in Columbia, the cocks, are still finding more creative ways to print the word cock across their t-shirts and buttocks of their pants. Now what were you doing in college? Be honest, because these guys are here saving tigers, talking to congressmen, bills, keeping up with that stuff. That's impressive. Hey, one other question. We're going to be talking with you all throughout the year, too, to update us on different tiger things going to keep you posted of when to contact senders. Because it doesn't take long to send those emails or messages, right? It's easy. Yeah. It's, it's super easy. There's also a script that we're going to be posting hopefully soon that is like, even if you have to leave a, a message or you want to type an email, we'll have a script that you just fill in your name and your zip code. And you can do it that easily. You don't even have to think of what to say. Yeah, be looking for that. I mean, during a commercial break, watching a football game, say, getting up, go to the fridge, get another drink, just pull out your phone. You can do it a phone too, right? Yeah, you can do the phone. <laughs> you don't even have to get up out of your chair to help save tigers. That's how easy the, these guys are making it. So there you have it. Remember to click on the link below to fill out that letter to send to your representative. Literally takes less than 30 seconds of commercial break to get that done. And to qualify to win your two free tickets to the Clemson South Carolina football game in November, share this video. If you share this video or like our Facebook page, you automatically get qualified to win those tickets. And the more times you share it, the more likely you are to win those tickets. So remember to share this and subscribe. CLEM and Cadence Count. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, C-L-E-M-S-O-N-T-I-G-E-R-S. Fight, 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 Woo! What are some Wofford cheers? I don't, I don't know that we have any Wofford cheers.